Uh, it's like a little after two. It's already 106. Didn't do laundry. <laughs> I actually took a nap. Saturday morning, September 7, 2024. It's like 8, 15, 8, 20 in the morning. It's already like 81 degrees. Oh, man. So yesterday, my friend and I were getting ready to throw the trash because there was a lot. And being that it was beetle, beetle juice, we weren't going to probably have any time. <laughs> so I was going downstairs to call the elevator up. It's kind of a procedure we have to do, have the doors locked. And uh, so when I went out downstairs, came back up, opened the doors, and my buddy went through with the first boat. The boat is, the boats are these huge rolling dumpsters that we use to take down to the main dumpster. And um, so I came up, opened the doors, and he went through and started to call the elevator. And I went back and got in the second boat. And uh, when <clears throat> I was coming back to the elevator, he's like, the elevator's not working. I go, what? I just came up. He's like, yeah, I know. So I went back down to try to ride it back up. Maybe it was on this side of the second floor that it wasn't working. And it's not working. And then I kind of noticed that there's people standing around. I'm like, what the hell? So I walked back up and I could hear the guy from the restaurant saying, oh yeah, we just lost power. He's, and he's like taking the boat back into our paddock. And he's like, yeah, the electricity's out. So we went back in and I'm turning around, going back into the paddock. And as I walked in, <clears throat> the whole theater complex was empty. So in between the time that I came upstairs, opened the doors, and he proceeded to go uh, call the elevator back up because by I think by default it just stays on the first floor. The power went out. So any more few seconds earlier, I could have been stuck or my buddy and I could have been both stuck in the elevator for, for a little over an hour. And that elevator, since it's outside, it gets really hot. And uh, definitely uh, too short to <laughs> climb up to the axis. But it's going to be like 102, I think, today. We'll see if it gets any hotter. No more blackouts. So I suppose, I mean, just my assumption, since this is kind of like a slate black, that possibly that's what they're trying to do is match the color scheme with the adjoining property. So then best assumption also is that they'll have a different color. This may be a, maybe a darker and then the next buildings will be lighter. I don't know. It just seems to be a trend that they... We kind of do that today. Oh no, it's the uh, green building over there on the property, just like the gray one. Kind of a practice that they used to use in uh, housing projects. You live in the green building, the blue building, the pink building, the purple building. Anyway, in closing, that's it. It's hot now. Just no blackouts. I did it this morning our Beetlejuice centerpiece. It's busy. I can tell you that it seems like Beetlejuice is going to be bigger than Wolverine, Deadpool, and Alien for the weekends. And this is just a... This is just kind of a die down. Oh shit. The floor is dirty.
It is uh, Sunday morning, uh, September 8th, 2024. It's 94 degrees already. Oh, God. Oh, my butt. Oh, in the shade. Uh, it's like almost 10. Uh, I'm so tired. When I first got up, I was kind of enthusiastic. And then till I stepped outside and then I just, you know, got here. It's, it is really hot. I think today's high is like expected to be 104, 105. And also, I didn't want to run around in this heat and then have to race back home because a buddy of mine asked me, um, Hey, Charlie, you working tomorrow? No. You want my shift? I'm like, what is it? Six to ten? I'm like... Yeah, sure, why not? So, I'll be working tonight, 6 to 10. <clears throat> four hours only, but hey, it's under the five-hour limit, so I make all four. I get the four hours instead of having to work like five and a half and then having to take a lunch break and getting less time, I think, something like that. So, uh, we're just going to go home and... I guess I will seek this opportunity to stop procrastinating and then go do my laundry. <clears throat> the only reason why I like to uh, actually just go out of the house is because, like right now, eh, hanging around the house and the AC would be cool and everything, but it's going to cost me more money. So, you know, if I can get AC on the bus and, you know, anywhere else, that's fine. So, we're going home. Uh, it's like a little after two. It's already 106. I didn't do laundry. <laughs> I actually took a nap. Made a dinner for the next couple of nights. It's 4.30 and it's still like 106 degrees. Sun's kind of brownie because uh, smoking air. It's 89 degrees going home and a good night. Jesus, that's not going to help. About eight is closed here behind me. This is North San Gabriel Canyon Road and North Old San Gabriel Canyon Road. And 800 fact, acres last, last night. night. We do have some video we can show you. Take a look. What's the bridge fire? Firefighters could be seen battling the fire from the ground. Heavy smoke in areas as they worked on fire. It has been fast moving and they were dealing with these winds yesterday. Also low humidity. Park Road near Glendora Mountain Road in the San Gabriel Canyon. This according to officials. Yeah, that's Canyon. close to us. This is it. Azusa. Were requested as the flames headed into capturing aggressive attacks from the air and from the ground. They were also dealing yesterday as well. Extremely hot again once today. Once again today. Now shortly after the fire started, visitors were evacuated from the air grounds and the adjacent river community. There's also road closures in place. That is State Route 39, East Fork Road, Glendora Ridge Road, and Glendora Mountain Road. Now back here live as of last night, they had 0% containment on this fire. As I said, we are trying to get the latest details from officials. It's already 74 degrees. investigation, but no injuries or reports of any buildings lost uh, at this point. Reporting live here in Azusa, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back here in the studio. Morning in San Bernardino County. This is a live look at the flames from Sky 5. The fire has grown to more than 20,000 acres since it first started last Thursday. KTLA 5's Annie Rose Ramos live from Mentown with more. Annie Rose, good morning. 